Yeah, what I meant to laugh at the top loss of WMJ in the Lebanon Khalid Regional. Um, please introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm Monty Worski. I'm a senior. I'm Elijah Martinez. I'm a junior. Drafts mostly the coach. Coach, do you have any general comments about your game tonight? No, I mean, I thought the guys, you know, competed. It's tough. You came up a nine spot in the first two. Um, you know, I asked the boys to treat the next seven as if it was a 0 0 game, and they came out and won that 6 3, 6 4. Um, obviously, not enough to climb back into it. But, yeah, this game's not going to sum up what these guys have done all season, and uh, for some of these guys, their career. So, it's a tough loss. Um, but, the guys played hard and did a couple things, and those first two innings didn't go our way. Yeah, we're going to open it up for questions. Sure. I mean, Coach just mentioned Hunter that you know, it doesn't kind of sum up your career, but when you look back, obviously it's a little bit, it's going to be looking at it now, but I mean, what has this past year, past two years been for you? Yeah, it's been a crazy experience. Um, I got, I was fortunate enough to be a team captain for the team this year, so. I got to uh, lead the guys uh, to a conference championship. And it was just uh, it was just a great experience that I wish everyone could have. It was, it was an honor to be playing along, along uh, all my best friends. Well, what would you say this experience means to you? This is the second year in a row now that you guys have won a conference championship and come to the NCAAs, come and gotten a win, come and got close you know, to, to get to that you know, final title round. It was really, uh, it was a good, we had a good season. Uh, my experience was uh, a lot bigger. Coming from my past schools, a uh, different experience. Coming in here and I'm happy on with this group of people. Coach, you know, obviously not the way you like to see it end, but anything you could say about you know this team in particular that could kind of sum up the year? Yeah, I mean, I think one. there's only going to be one team that doesn't end their season on the loss, so I'm, hopefully that will be us at some point. Um, but it's a special group. Where we started going, you know, one and two down in North Carolina, um, trying to really figure out our identity. And they just continue to win and win, and we beat a bunch of regional teams. So, um, you know, and again, it's a two-week layoff between tournament and regionals is tough, and you're playing some of the best teams in the country. So it's, uh, I think we're considered right up there, and it's because of the guys on each of my sides and the other 38 guys that we have. They, they were a selfless group, and they compete. So it's been a pleasure coaching them, and for the guys that are coming back, the sights are got to be a little bit higher. Coach, this region had two nationally ranked teams in it. Can you talk about what it was like playing Jack Ketting the regular season, out for playing this competition this late in the year? Yeah, I think regionally that's what you're going to get. Um, every regional this year was was diff. There was there wasn't a ton of upsets in the uh, in a lot of tournament play. So, out of the 60 teams there that were left, there were <laughs> there were not a lot. Of, there were some really good baseball teams. You know, um, and even one of the teams that did upset Johnson and Wales goes out and beats Wheaton in the top 25 team. So, um, for us, it's a four-team tournament. You know, we got to come out and we got to pitch a little bit better than we did. Um, but at the end of the day, you're playing some of the best teams in the country. And uh, yeah, I think we're fortunate at Mitchell to be you know, a smaller school to be considered one of those teams. All right, thank you. Congratulations on a great season and good luck next year. Thank you.